ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ರ ಗಂಗಾಧರ್ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಐ ಸಿ ಟಿ ಹೀಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾವು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೀಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಝೂಮ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹಿಸ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ತಮಿಳ್ ಡಿಜಿಟಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಐ ವಿಶ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಕ್ ಟು ಡೆಲಿವರ್ ಹಿಸ್ ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ okay good evening everyone and thank you for the opportunity uh, mr president uh, president of uh, the jafna um, uh, college of education and thank you uh, our like peer uh, speakers and uh, good evening and uh, yes so so i will be briefly discuss uh, like uh, so i i have shared a document uh, probably you all can see that it looks like uh, a lot of content but i will quickly go through that so my i will be uh, uh yeah i will start with uh, like when a child is given enough opportunity he he will do like better he can do amazing things so that we every year we experience through uh, competitions that we organize um to school school children so uh, so the w- one picture which i have shown uh, here uh, that is from like um, uh, that competition so people made uh, so we also did uh, uh, do the competition during the covid period and students have come up with like devices to like uh, uh, control uh, hand wash uh and uh, control the social distancing so these are students of like a grade 8 9 10 students without much of a help so what we did was so what we uh, provide them was just a guidance so the rest they did so they they searched and uh, they found resources and they did and also like even some students went uh, went away and used um, uh, machine learning which we like uh, which our fourth year university students use like machine learning concepts so they have adapted in their project in the school level grade 11 students they could adapt it in the adapt, adapt in the school level and they came up with this project so when an opportunity is given to student students our students can do well then uh, we all know that as uh, mr ekanayaka explained we are in a a world where we don't know what will happen tomorrow right so which is the fourth that is what we call it as fourth industrial revolution we are like physically physical um, uh, environment and the biological environment and everything now have merged together and um, uh, this all merging has happened through electronic means so in the era that we live we need to know and the future people our kids needs to know um uh, i mean learn every day and perform right so in this context uh, i will be briefly talking about e learning and when i say e learning uh, so i i broadly like consider everything which uh, which are uh, all the learning experience which are delivered through electronic medium i consider considered as e learning here and in order to like uh, do uh, or in order to provide best experience to uh, students we need to know or we need to have four kinds of uh, resources one is physical resource as um, mr neil gunadasa like uh, elaborately discussed where we need physical resources which include connectivity and the devices uh, to access so which is very important um, then learning resource that also he touched on where we need to have electronic content and electronic platform to learn uh, or get the learning experience then the human resources which mr ekanayaka briefly touched on so we need proper teaching resources we are like teachers uh, now the teachers role has become the facilitator role not not like the traditional like classroom teacher role so the role has changed so the teacher should adapt it 
and also the administrators like principal should know the importance of um, this approach and the needs for this e-learning delivery um, so that human resources needs uh, that we need to develop and then students so again uh, like uh, both uh, speakers earlier touched on now the students have more responsibility because especially during the covid time they are learning from uh, home and there are a lot of distractions and a lot of other happenings around them like even in that context they should be able to focus and learn so how to do that so that capacity needs to be developed so the physical resource learning resource and the human resource then the another very important thing is the awareness and the mindset or awareness or mindset of uh, everyone i would say including principal teachers and the students and administrators so the education administrators should know what is e learning and what what are the like needs for the better uh, learning experience and parents so parents uh, now have bit more like responsibility because students are at home especially during the covid time even afterwards when a student sit in front of a computer student should uh, the parent should know that he is i mean parent should provide space for kid to learn because we have heard stories that when a student sit in front of a computer uh, especially before the covid period okay. parents think that the, the student is doing something or playing games so parents should have a trust as well as they should monitor what they are doing in a uh, in a in a in a way so that awareness uh, we need to give and also we need the support of well wishers uh, or our some social leaders to spread this word this um, uh, importance of e learning to the community so if we have all four of these packages then we should be able to uh, give a good e learning experience and why we need e learning i, I will like not uh, discuss about it because now everyone have uh, everyone of us have realized that we need e learning Mm -hmm. um i will touch on i will touch on one or two points one is uh, uh, it has proven uh, the positive impact in the past and a lot of like case studies uh, even like in the northern province or in other 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 part um, even the southern province so everywhere when the, when the ic when the ict aided teaching is provided students perform better in some in some cases the um, uh, 20 percentage performance in the national exam has gone to 80 percentage within few years so it it has uh, uh, shown the proven uh, impact or positive impact on uh, students performance and our kids are digital native and uh, whoever like interested in this um, uh, you can look at sugat mistra's uh, ted talk and he has done a lot of experience to show what is digital nativeness and how people learn or how our kids can learn without much of a assistant right so he has done a lot of experience and it also help us to do the uh, personalized learning so if we go like uh, a bit away from like a zoom class and um, uh, our like uh, online delivery so the e learning also uh, facilitate like if as uh, mr neil gunadasa like uh, correctly said this cozira and udacity the platform those courses we learn in our own pace and in our own space so we learn from our garden and uh, maybe we learn um, like uh, in the night right in our own way and own style like sometimes we look at the video sometimes we look at the material the materials which are written so this all can be packaged in e learning uh, then this, this is a future and as i said especially with the fourth industrial revolution we don't know what is going to happen so this is where the why comes so why we need e learning and how it is done Uh, now like lms based this e learning experiences provide through lms based systems like e takshalava or kalvikudam and at jalai tih we also have one called aki and uh, different other other like uh, other uh, when uh, other organizations they have their own learning management system which is a platform where the learning experience is structured the materials are given and they are assessed like so that is one way of uh, uh, one way of delivery which is happening now the electronic learning delivery which is happening now the second way is 
um, the, a lot of like uh, WhatsApp groups and the YouTube, Facebook, and the learning materials are shared through different ways, uh, different uh, channels. But those are not very structured, but still students can learn. And be, I mean, those like uh, those uh, like way of delivery is good for the like immediate need. Like without any much of a platform, they can immediately deliver something to students. So that is also good. But um, for a long term, we might need to go for a structured learning management based um, e-learning um, method, right? So that is that is how how the e-learning happening uh, now. Then um, also uh, when it comes to this lo uh, our local context um, in in uh, Tamil medium education, now a lot of resources are uh, being uh, developed uh, by like provincial officers uh, and the zonal office, the pro pro Northern Provincial Department, they have developed uh, a, a lot. Then the Kalbi Kudam or Idakshalava, they are developing NAE, they have channels and Jeffna Hindu College, e Kalbi Foundation and Catral and Serb, Jalaitika. So a lot of organizations, they are developing um, resources and um, as like we have a like a community called tamilkalbi.online they are like uh, there are 20 plus organizations they have voluntarily come together to promote this e-learning and as a first step what we did was we created a directory of existing uh, video resources so we end up with like 1200 resources already developed during the covid and you can find them in that tamilkalbi.online website Similarly, we are through that group. We are also now uh, creating awareness among uh, general public by inviting uh, social leaders to speak about e-learning, by inviting administrators and the popular figures to speak about e-learning. We are trying to create awareness because that is something very important to uh, succeed in uh, e-learning delivery. And a lot of online exams are being prepared. And this is where I think you are. Uh, Kopai, uh, this um, uh, College of Education, uh, your students, they, they themselves have created a lot of uh, online exams. This is good for like grade five, uh, the whoever going to, going to take the scholarship for the O level or A level. So this is uh, very useful. They can themselves, they can assess themselves and see how far they have um, uh, performing. Otherwise they can correct them. And the smart classroom that's again has a, it's a trend now a so lot of schools for example um in even we have schools in Udayarkattu, very first school um where we had this um, uh, digital classroom with uh, so a smart classroom with smart board and now like it, it has become a trend and a lot of schools now they have a, a classroom with smart board um then the remote delivery this is very interesting thing so earlier uh, we had uh, uh, like delivery within the school. So the teacher comes and teach uh, to the st uh, students in their classroom. But now we have come to a situation where we teach to the student in uh, somewhere in other province or other part of the country. For example, uh, EKLB Foundation, they have uh, started a project where they teach students in Rakuana, one of one school in Rakuana from Jeffna, because uh, in that school there are no teachers to teach science and maths uh, for A level. So they have been trying to uh, start the class since 1992, uh, but now only they could do it, uh, and uh, their delivery is done from uh, Jeffna. And similarly, today, like uh, I think it's a bit best day. I mean today. Um, the Jeffna Hindu College and Provincial Northern Provincial Department, they have together, they have started the digital classroom for uh, grade six to 13. So now all the, so uh, according to a timetable from the mo from morning, uh, subjects are delivered. So I I anyone like in, in anywhere in the world, in, in the world, I would say, can follow the class from home or uh, from wherever they are. So they can follow the class as it's like a digital school now it's happening so these are like uh, these are the possibilities that uh, e-learning brings in and uh, i will like quickly finish it with uh, like one more minute uh, where what we need to focus now one is to improve the quality improve the connectivity so as uh, mr neil gunadas correctly said there are like a lot of schools they don't have uh, internet connectivity and also uh, 
we need to reduce the digital distance uh, by providing enough access to devices and other other, other uh, facilities to students and we also need to train teachers as facilitators how to facilitate a session and also um, uh, we need to um, uh, uh, develop next level e learning content where like if you look at so if you look at the uh, access uh, means more than 80 percentage of the uh, students they access through mobile phones or a mobile devices so we need to come up with like uh, very good interactive uh, content uh, which can be delivered through a mobile phone so one option would be developing good mobile applications uh, i know like uh, either Shalava has like uh, uh, in Adam applications to learn music. So similarly, we need a lot of applications. Uh, we need to do, uh, we need to deliver the uh, best learning experience to students. And also we need to be careful and we need to again create a lot of awareness about the security and the privacy when it comes to uh, electronic connectivity. So this is the like, thing which I wanted to discuss uh, what we need and why we uh, why e learning and how it's happening now what is the present status and what are the immediate needs thank you